It's a new frontier in healthcare, regenerative medicine, helping the body regrow tissue, bone, skin, and even organs. One team of researchers has developed materials using ordinary silk that can be programmed to help the body heal. David Kaplan and his team at Tufts University in Massachusetts jumped headfirst into the fast-growing world of regenerative medicine research. Kaplan published his most recent breakthrough in the journal ACS Biomaterial Science and Engineering. Kaplan used silk proteins to create a kind of three-dimensional scaffolding doctors can use to help soft tissue regrow inside the body. These silk sponges work much like construction scaffolding that holds materials and workers while a building is being built. They act as a placeholder while the body heals itself, eventually degrading away when the tissue can hold together on its own. So if you do your job right, uh, you have basically the restoration of full, normal tissue when you're done. The challenge, Kaplan says, is programming the sponges to dissolve at the right pace and work with the real tissue inside the body. How do you put all, put all that together, have it function the right way, degrade away in the right lifetime while the cells take over and remodel and reform native tissue? Kaplan says his team has created a process that allows the sponges to last as long as needed. Uh, we could design them to dissolve away almost immediately if we want, which has meaning very low or no crystallinity, to lasting literally two to three years. Because the sponges are made of silk, the body's immune system doesn't attack them aggressively. It's fairly quiet in the body, so there's reactions to it, but it's fairly low in terms of inflammation. And by the time the sponge is no longer needed, it's harmlessly decayed. When you're all done, it essentially disappears. It turns into amino acids, which are the normal content of your matrix and cells in the body anyway. Although Kaplan and his team are focused on soft tissue now, he wants to continue research into complex sponges that could one day help replace or heal entire organs. And that's where more complex printing and other methods will come in, so you can really sort of create multimodal tissues, you know, get to, you know, get to a kidney, get to a heart, get to um, a lung, all these complex tissues. That's really the next uh, sphere we're after. ACS Headline Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. For more on the latest top chemistry research from ACS publications, why not subscribe to ACS? Mm -hmm.